Thank you for joining me today. This is uh, Breakfast with Sergio, episode number 52. And today I wanna talk to you about my favorite apps to use with Instagram. So my friends, again, welcome to Breakfast with Sergio, episode number 52. Good morning, happy Friday. Very excited to be here, it's Friday, it's a good one. And uh, it's very sunny outside, I'm very excited. Today is a long day, we have openings at the gallery and it's gonna be a busy, busy day. So today for breakfast, what I have here with me is I have my green drink. Uh, it has everything I need to get some energy for the day, for a long day. It has uh, blueberry, it has banana, uh, it has also spirulina, it has oatmeal, it has green powder for energy, it has, uh, what else do I have? Spirulina, I think I already mentioned that. And a bunch of other things that I can't remember exactly, but uh, it is very good. And it's a good way to start the day, particularly on a busy day. I need all the energy I can get. So I started this morning, went out for a run, came back, made my shake, and now it's time for breakfast with Sergio. So my friends, in this episode number 52, I wanna talk about my favorite apps to use for Instagram. First, I think as you as an artist, you should be on Instagram. It's a, it's a great platform for artists. Great platform to be discovered, to be found. I know many curators and galleries who use Instagram very actively to find works and to find artists. I know many collectors as well who use Instagram on a daily basis to find artists as well. So definitely it's an app that you want to use when it comes to uh, you know, promoting your art and what you do as an artist. So today I wanna tell you kind of my four favorite apps that I use along with Instagram to help me uh, manage Instagram, make it better, to help it grow, and so on. So I'm gonna go through them really quickly, give you some of the things of why I like that particular app to go along with my Instagram. So first of all, uh, the first one I use is Hashtagger. Hashtagger, and if you are in Facebook, if you're watching in Facebook, I'm gonna post it right here so you can see it really quickly. Hashtagger, it's a, it's a great app, Hashtagger. Uh, what that does, and you can download it uh, for your mobile device, Hashtagger, what it does is once you make a post on Instagram, then you go to Hashtagger and you find, you, you, you use a key search, uh, a word or a phrase to find the top more, most relevant um, hashtags for that word. For example, I make a post in my studio of uh, something I'm working on my studio, then I can go to Hashtagger and then I click uh, Art Studio or Artist Studio make a search for that and Hashtagger will give me the top most uh, relevant hashtags for art and artists and studio and so on. And you can say, cap, like copy all the top 30 or you can manually select the hashtags that you want. You can say, click, click, click this one, this one, this one, this one. So you can pick the hashtags that are more relevant. Some of them might not be as relevant uh, to what you may be posting. So you want, always, you want to always use the ones that are more relevant. So you can do that through Hashtagger and you say copy, then you go to Instagram, and what you do in Instagram is you just go to the comment sections on your post, because you gotta do this right after you make your post so that they're still active. Uh, you click on your comments, and then you say paste, and boom, it will paste them. What I like about hashtag is not only it, it does paste your hashtags, as many as you want, oh, you have up to 30 on any given uh, Instagram post. Uh, Instagram gives you up to 30, and what you can do is on hashtag, uh, select the ones you want, doesn't have to be 30. You can pick five, six, or 10, or, or as many as 30. And when you paste them on Instagram, what I really like about it too is that it will add uh, some dots or periods at the top and then the hashtags so that when other people start commenting on your post, they don't see you know 30 hashtags all listed there. So they'll just see a few dots and then that's it. So it's very clean. I love it, hashtag is a great way to again use your Instagram and also, um, you know, use your hashtags to, uh, to you know, in case, in case, enhance, I forgot the word, to enhance your post and to enhance your images. In Instagram, it's all about the hashtags, right? It's all about the hashtags. That's how you are found, that's how people find you, that's how people follow you, because now not only in Instagram, not only you can follow people, you can also follow hashtags. So, for example, a collector who collects uh, geometric abstraction art, you know, they can follow that hashtag. So anytime they go and follow it, you know, that's gonna come on, on their feed. So if you are an artist who does geometric abstraction, that's definitely a hashtag 
you want to use over and over. So there are many apps that do this, but I love Hashtagger, one of my favorite ones. I have tried some other ones, but I really like this one. I like it because it also saves the searches. So I don't have to go back again and search for our studio. And it's already saved, it's there, so I can just click on that and boom, boom, go back to it and pick the most relevant hashtags for that. So Hashtagger is one. Next one I wanna talk about too is called InShot. InShot is one that I really like, I-N, shot, InShot. Um, what I like about InShot is that it works great for images and also for video. Um, so let's say you take a video and you're, you have an opening and you go and you take some footage, some video. You only wanna use part of it and you want to maybe format it for either your uh, Instagram wall, which you might want to get a nice square image, or maybe for your Instagram story. So you need a vertical long image uh, of your video. So you can go to InShot, open it up, you can pick or select the section of the video you want to use, and you can do this with photographs too. Uh, and then you pick what size you want it. If you, it's really all really easy, what size you want it, if you want it squared, if you want it vertical, or if you want to fit, for example, the video, but you don't wanna cut the video, you just wanna fit the video and then have extra space top and bottom. It gives you choices of what kind of backgrounds you want, if you want a blur image, or if you want a, a solid color or a gradient, whatever you want to do. You can add text to it, and there's a lot of other things. You can add filters. It has a lot of really cool things. InShot, I love it. Uh, you know, when I'm editing quick videos for my either my stories or also for my Instagram wall. So InShot is another great app that I love, and I'm using it quite a bit these days. Uh, sometimes I take an episode like this from Breakfast with Sergio, and then I chop a little bit of it uh, in InShot, and then I can put it on my wall, so it so it stays there versus the Instagram story that will be going in 24 hours. If I there's a section that I really like, I can do that, put a little bit of text, what that is. Like yesterday, I did one on, um, uh, what was it? It was something about uh, tips, uh, tips of something. So I, I made that in uh, InShot and put the title at the bottom and boom, it was ready, went to Instagram and it was so, so cool. So InShot, one that I highly recommend. Another one that I really like for Instagram is called Cut Story. Cut, C-U-T, like for cutting, cut story. If you're using Instagram stories, which I think you should be, um, Instagram stories, as you know, they are they are uh, gone in 24 hours, so you do an Instagram story and then boom, it's gone. But although you can save this, your favorite stories in your highlights, however, uh, I like cut story because, you know, your stories are very short, but if you have a little bit of a longer video, let's say you record something in your studio or in your opening and you want to chop it so you have it uh, the whole thing in your stories. So it is continuous as somebody looks at your story, they can look you know, one after the other after the other and it's a continuous video. Then you can use the app Cut Story, which is one that I love, super easy to use, that's why I like it. I like things that are easy, not too complicated. Sometimes if, if an app has way too many features, I just get desperate, like ah, you know, I, I want something that's easy, it gives me what I want really fast. So Cut Story is one of them where you can open your video, Cut Story, and you click the button and it will chop it for you in however many uh, mini videos it needs to be so that it can fit in your story. So all you do is you go to your stories, upload one video at a time, pop, 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 and you can apply your filters if you want there uh, in your stories and then boom, it's, it's done and it's ready. And then you can just go back to your uh, phone and delete all those little uh, cut, uh, cut videos. So it's a great one, cut story, one that I really like a lot super easy to use, super good. I think you will like it too, especially if you're using stories and you have a little bit longer videos, then you can chop them through Cut Story. Um, and the last one that I want to mention that I love also to use along with my Instagram, one app that I have talked about before is called Crowdfire. Crowdfire now has a lot of features. It's for managing social media, but there's one feature in particular that I like when it comes to Instagram, and that is when I post a picture in my Instagram, I may put you know uh, filters or things to it. And when I post it, what it does too, it then it sends it to Crowdfire, uh, or, or actually Crowdfire will catch it. I don't know how it works, but Crowdfire will remember it. And I can go anytime to Crowdfire, and from Crowdfire, I can then deploy that image to any other platform I want. I don't have to upload it, I don't have to find it, I don't have to download it from Instagram, it's already there in the Crowdfire repository. 
Uh, and what I'll do is I just go there and say, maybe there was an image that I really, really like after I put some filters in Instagram and I want to also post it in maybe my Facebook wall, my, my personal or my private page, or maybe I also want to put it on Pinterest and maybe on LinkedIn or you know uh, Twitter, whatever other applications I may want to put it on. So I can go to Crowdfire and just go to that image and then just click share. It will give me the options to the apps uh, or the other social medias that I want to post it on. And I can say either post it now or post it at the, at, at the most optimal time. And then the app will determine when that time is. It will automatically post it when you think it will have the best results. So that's why I love Crowdfire. I, I, like I said, Crowdfire has a lot of uh, more features. And I did a whole episode on Crowdfire. You can find it in my YouTube channel. Uh, just look for Breakfast with Sergio Crowdfire and it will pop up right there in the search results. But that's another great one. I highly recommend it if that's something that you want to do as well. So my friends, those are the uh, apps that I love to use the most. Those are my favorite apps that I use for my Instagram, to grow my Instagram, to promote my Instagram. And I think as an artist, you should be using Instagram. It's a great way to um, you know, bring people to the work that you make. And don't forget to use your hashtags and you know, to uh, always keep learning, making it better. I post every day on Instagram, so I think it's important for me. I really like it, I really enjoy it. And uh, you know, but you, you see what it works for you. So again, really quickly to wrap it up, and then I'll let you go for today, is hashtagger. I love hashtagger to find hashtags and copy and paste them in my post. InShot to format my videos, cut them, add text or what have you, um, make them for the format that I need, either square, rectangular, and whatever. And it's not only for InShot, it's not only for Instagram, you can also use it for other apps like Facebook and so on. Cut Story, if I have a little bit of a longer video and I wanna chop it into smaller sections for my stories, I use Cut Story and Crowdfire to maximize the effort that I'm putting on Instagram, so then I can use those images later on for distribution in other platforms if I so want to and if I need to. It doesn't do it automatically, that's what I love, uh, because I don't want every image that I post on Instagram to go everywhere else, only a few of them. So it gives me the option to just go to the repository on um, Crowdfire and pick the ones I want and then just share them when I want to. So that's it, my friends. Hope you have an amazing, amazing Friday. Enjoy the weekend. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, if you haven't yet, please follow me on Instagram. Catch me if you can at Sergio Gomez Projects. Also, don't forget to check out the, all the uh, episodes of Breakfast with Sergio, which you will find them on YouTube as well. And thanks again for watching from whatever you are watching today. I really, really appreciate your company. Have a great breakfast, have a great day, and I will see you on Monday with some more awesome advice for your art career. Take care, my friends, goodbye.